Let me show you around. Come on. So we'll start kind of when you first enter the room. This is the technology area. This is where all my Cricut, my printer, my main work computer, where all my emails are handled, everything done outside of my phone uh, that's not involved sewing is gonna be handled right here. This is my Epson uh, printer. I'm able to do things like sub die, which you guys have seen. So I've done that a lot recently with some recent gears. Right below that we have our vinyl cutter. Right below that we have all of the vinyl. Um, we move right on over. We have pretty much anything technology-wise. I film a lot on my phone these days because it's much quicker and easier to get that done, but I have my main camera, my workhorse over here, my main computer, my workhorse right here. It's where a lot of the boring stuff happens. So, working around to the next area, this is something that's not really touched on. This is really random, but uh, I always cut strips, or I always cut extra strips whenever I'm doing gear because there's always going to be like a thin line or a thick line, so whenever I cut, something for a gear set i normally cut five to ten extra and then store that up here and that saved me a lot of time in the future i'll have gear that comes in that has a certain color and needs to strip a fabric here and most of the time i already have one there and if i don't at that time i will for the next time behind this door that's a little messy but i'll take you into it come over here this is the wrestling closet so this has all of all of the gear all of the stuff all the cool little, all the cool little knickknacks. We'll grab one thing out of here. One day we gotta go through a tour where I show you all the gear. Moving on to the next station, which is kind of right here. This is my photo shoot area. This is where you see all the final photos of products. Right now you'll see a couple things ready to be photographed. We have this really dope Freddy Cougar singlet. Now you probably see a mass amount of clothes over here or t-shirts. I currently have a bulk order for doing t-shirts since I'm starting to kind of dabble with that here and there. So we're gonna do a bunch of custom wrestling t-shirts um, and that's what all these are for. So, and now we are at one of the main stations. So with making gear, I'm always cutting fabric or gluing fabric. And this is my, this is my end all be all. This is where all my time is spent besides the sewing machine. This is a awesome cutting mat, it's giant. So I'm able to cut anything and pretty much everything besides cakes. And it's all done here. Underneath here, which is the most important part, is where I keep all of my, most of my fabric that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is one of the most functional pieces in this office. Always has to be. Um, you'll probably see some random things throughout here. That's Man of Gold, he watches over me. It's a long story. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh... You'll probably see to the right and left of me, we have some memorabilia stuff that means more personal to me. So for example, over here, we have my debut gear. So the first time I ever wrestled, uh, that was the gear I wore. Really awesome to be at this point where I'm wrestling quite a lot with my ring rentals and stuff like that. I'm running my own promotion, I'm doing a lot. And to have little things like that, which doesn't mean anything else to anybody else, means the world to me. What means even more though, is over here. So. This means a lot to me because, um, <clears throat> so one of the first people to help me sew is obviously my mom, but the second was my Granny Rick, and they were hand in hand, and uh, I drove my grandmother up the fucking wall for a Rey Mysterio mask, among a million other things, but this is one of the few pieces I'm able to still have that didn't get destroyed, and I've saved it, and this is one that she actually made for me. This is my Baby Lock Jubilant. Um, I used to have a different version of this, but I actually sold that off just because of how impressed I was with this machine. Um, I sew everything through this machine. I take care of my machines. I clean my machines. These things go through hell, and I cannot compliment this machine enough. If you're looking for a machine, this is the one for you. Whether you're a beginner or anything else, it's so smooth. I've sewn through some of the thickest shit you can imagine, and it's trucked right through it and been a champ. So, Baby Lock Jubilant, I will forever be a Baby Lock boy. Along some other things, we have my uh, airbrush, which I use to clean out and do those types of things, blow out the threads and all that type of stuff. And then up here we have our beautiful, beautiful uh, thread display. Uh, I'm running low in stock. I've gotta go refill these again, but having the option and the ability to just jump up here and have any color you need at any time versus having to go to the store, 
saves me a bunch of time. It also empties my pockets every fucking month. So, yeah. When you're sewing, it's always nice to have some WD-40 right beside you, which is what this container is. I use this to sew on thick leathers and stuff like that. Having everything you need in one spot, being as functional as possible is what this space is about. We have my heat press. This thing gets used a whole lot. Great purchase, needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but this is one of the best purchases I have. A repeat, we're back to another Jubilant. This is my backup machine. So it's my backup machine for myself. If that one goes out, it's also my machine for if my assistant comes in. My assistant, AKA being my mother. Um, yes, that's who my assistant is. If you ever hear me refer to my assistant, shout out to mom. She's here to help me on hard days. <coughs> and uh, we get to sew together. So yeah, brings right back up to that mask. If Granny Rick was still here, she'd be here too. And she'd be out sewing all of us. And the corner, something that I don't use all that often. Um, getting into doing the t-shirts and the hats. Uh, I want to be able to offer logos like these right here. Boom. Soon, if you want a JCJ gear hat, I want to be able to offer that stuff. So that's something I'm in the process of doing. I want to be offering hats and shirts and all sorts of stuff like that if you want to support the brand and all that jazz. One thing I think I skipped over that was very important, if you come back down here, this is my elastic and drawstring. Ooh, I got to restock, holy shit. One more thing to hit on this side of the room is the shipping. This is where I have my extra shipping boxes and international labels or express labels and all that stuff. My other assistants, April. If you know, you fucking know. If you don't, too bad. Let's move to the next spot. With that being said, that was a quick tour of my workspace, my sewing studio, my uh, the place I spend all my days and nights. If you enjoy this style of content, if you enjoy pro wrestling gear, if you enjoy seeing projects getting done, please hit the subscribe button. We're glad to have you around and I'm glad to be able to produce this kind of content. Uh, with that being said, is there anything else I need to cover? Do, 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 do. If you guys are interested in getting JCJ gear hats or maybe JCJ gear shirts, I'm not wearing one. Would have been a good product placement though. If you're interested in doing anything like that, let me know. This is John Cody Jenkins with JCJ Maker Studio, JCJ Gear, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This isn't a project, but I guess I'll say it anyway. Makers, motherfucking delight.